Hello, SCB families. Today we're going to be making our next letter in our alphabet book, which is the letter P for pencil. And then we're going to be making these cute little mittens. Um, so, but before we get started on that, you know, I love to start us with a song or a book. Um, we did a book last time, so we're going to do a song today. Um, and so let me go over here and we're going to play uh, the mitten song. Um, and what's great about this song is um, it's again the Kaboomers, which, you know, I love. Um, but what's also great about this song is um, it also goes over the colors, too. Uh, so here is um, the winter mitten song by the Kaboomers. What color mittens are you wearing? If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands. If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands. If you're wearing red mittens, red, red mittens. If you're wearing red mittens, clap your hands. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing blue mittens, blue, blue mittens. If you're wearing blue mittens, stomp your feet. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing yellow mittens, yellow, yellow mittens. If you're wearing yellow mittens, shake your head. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing green mittens, green, green mittens. If you're wearing green mittens, bend your knees. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing orange mittens, orange, orange mittens. If you're wearing orange mittens, tap your nose. If you're wearing purple mittens, touch your toes. If you're wearing purple mittens, touch your toes. If you're wearing purple All right. So those are our favorite or one of our favorites um, singers, groups called uh, uh, the Kaboomers. And we really like those. So um, I try to play for you uh, a lot of different um, uh, types of things, songs, books, stories, uh, sometimes informational stuff, uh, whatever I can try to find. Um, uh, because I think it's really good for the kids to have a bunch of different experiences. Uh, I'm really struggling to talk today, uh, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, so, <laughs> so now that we've looked at uh, the mitten song, let's go back to our camera and let's uh, get out our pencil, our markers. My goodness, my friends. Um, we're going to get out our markers and we're going to do our uh, pencil. So I'm going to always start up here with my eraser, which is always pink. And then I'm going to fill in my pencil, which is usually yellow. Um, and then I'm going to fill in the part up here, which is sort of metally. So we'll just do that. Oh, it's a little pencil. All right. So. I'm going to do my lowercase letter P in orange. I am going to do my uppercase letter P in pink, P for pink. Okay. I'm going to do a blue square over here. Kind of missed the square there, my friends. Um, and then I'm going to do a purple circle. Oh, I like that, purple circle. Um, here we go. All righty, there we go. So I'm gonna cut across here to give me my nice straight line for my book. 
Um, and then I'm going to cut out my shapes. I can move my markers out of the way now. Um, and I'm going to cut out my square. Uh, here we go. And then I can cut out my circle. Here we have that. And then we can match our shapes. and make our book. All right, let's get rid of the scrap, put it in the recycle. Okay, now I'll get out my glue stick, put a little bit of glue in the circle there, and put down my pencil, P is for pencil, put a little bit of glue in the square here, and put down my a capital letter P, matching my shapes, and then I can get my alphabet book, from behind me and add to all of our letters that we've done. So many letters, friends. And we have a wonderful alphabet book that we can put together when we're done. Now today's craft is, as I like to do at the very beginning always, today's craft is uh, this cute little set of mittens. So I'm going to cut this out real quick and I'm going to set it over here. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back here to the actual mitten um, and you're going to notice that oftentimes um, I, you know, I can see because they are left and right, I still only need to cut one because when you cut them apart like that, um, they, you can flip them. So um, I had a student, uh, one of my student aides a couple years ago was like, no, 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 we need left mittens and right mittens. And I said, nope, we just need mittens because we can flip them. Uh, and sometimes you get so locked into the idea of left mitten, right mitten that you don't even think about it. Um, and so um, he was like, oh my goodness, Ms. Foreman, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so I'm gonna just uh, put my, my template on top of my blue paper. And it says light blue, um, but I don't wanna make light blue mittens. I just don't want to. So I'm gonna make mittens whatever color I want. And today I want to make dark blue mittens. Um, if you ever feel like I don't wanna make something that's that color, please feel free to just make it whatever color you want. Um, so there's our mitten, our, uh, our dark blue mittens instead of light blue mittens. And I'm going to just put those up here, set them out of my way. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to cut the buttons. I only need one button because I'm going to cut them twice. I'm going to make the buttons in the same color as the mitten. So, oh, whoop, drop, whoop, I keep dropping it, friends. Um, so I'm going to just uh, put this over here and I'm going to get my scrap out from where I just cut that out and I'm going to see if this little tiny scrap in the corner is perfect. It's the perfect size for my button. So I'm going to put it right here and I'm just going to cut the circle right out of the paper here and I'm going to cut my button. All right, going around the circle. And then because it's a button, while I have it out, I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to put the four little um, buttonholes on it so that it's clear that it's a button. Okay, so there's my button. I got that taken care of. Put the scrap off to the side. All right. So then the next piece is the cuff, I'm gonna do the cuff next. I need two cuffs, and I am gonna do these out of red because I think they're that's cute. Um, and so I'm going to do just the two red cuffs. Uh, and to do that, oops, I missed the line. And to do that, what I'm gonna do is just take two pieces out of my scrap pile. Um, and I have a couple of pieces of scrap here. And I'm gonna just put them on top of each other. Perfect, just like that. And there's just enough paper down here that I can cut this cuff out of here. And I'm stacking them on top of each other so I can cut two at once. It makes it a little easier. Okay, so there's the cuffs. So I'm gonna set those up there out of my way. And then I'm gonna go to this, which is 
it says stripe and it says dark blue stripe, but I made my, my mittens dark blue. So I'm just going to make my stripe light blue. I'm going to make my stripe out of, um, out of light blue instead. Um, so I'm just gonna cut like this. As always, I need two, but I only need to cut one because I can just fold my paper. I think I have some light blue scrap. I do. Excellent. Whoa. I'm dropping things, friends. So I have some light blue scrap over here, which is hopefully, let's see, is that big enough? Ooh, it's close. I think it's close, friends. I think they're both going to work, but just barely. But this is why I keep all of my scrap paper, because you never know when the piece is going to be exactly the right size which is where I am right now. <laughs> uh, and what's nice is now that I feel like I will have used this paper, all of it, I mean, it's just, there's almost nothing usable left. Then I don't feel bad about putting that last little bit into the recycling because I've used so much of it. I've used all the scrap really that I can get out of it. Okay, so now I can put that scrap into the recycling bin. Okay, what's the next piece? Uh, the next piece says string brown, but I am going to make my string light blue, uh, like um, the like the other part of the uh, like the stripe uh, on it. So I'm just gonna use light blue, and I'm gonna use um, red and dark blue. I don't want to make my string brown, so I'm gonna make my string the same color as what's in my mittens. Because usually when my string, when my mittens have strings, um, when I was a kid or when my kids' mittens had strings, they were always the same color as the mitten itself. Um, and so I want to just do what I remember having when I was a kid or when my kids were little kids. Uh, so I'm going to just cut this out like this. All right. I did everything on this. I did my buttons so I can get rid of that. And I'm going to make, there's a piece of scrap I have left over. Let me just do that again. Cut that out one more time. Go around the top here. Cut this piece there. And then come around here. Like that. And then I can cut this piece right here. Oop. It's not my prettiest line I ever cut. I might have to tidy that up just a little bit. Just a little not my favorite. All right, that's better. All right, so there's, okay, so this can go in the recycle. This can go in the scrap. All right, what else is left to cut? Oh, fun. So we have the little spot right here in the center of the mitten, and I'm just gonna use this white paper right here. I'm gonna cut the black edge off it so that it's just the white paper. And I'm just going to, oh dear, that's a little not curvy enough. Let's round that off. Perfect. That goes in the center of the thing. All right, so then I need six hearts. I'm going to cut one out, and then I can do two sets of three hearts, I think. All right, let me round that corner off. All righty. Okay. All right, what do I have here? Let's see. Will this fit in here? All right, one, two, and then behind is three. I think that looks good. So I should be able to cut this one and get three out of it if I did it right. Uh, do, do, do. 
and come down around here and then we come around this corner like this and then we go up this corner like that and there's one two three hearts there we go and that can go in the recycle bin now and then we're going to just do that again let's see if i can make that fit here uh oh did i cut it too small nope it's fine it's fine it's fine all right so then we just do the same thing again come up around the edge here come up around the curve of the heart come up around this curve of the heart come down this side one two three perfect and again, now I feel like I've used this piece of red to the point that there's almost nothing left. And now it can go in the scrap. Push all these into the recycle bin. Okay. All right, I have paper everywhere, friends. All right. So now we're gonna put our mittens together. Okay. So I'm gonna start with just putting, assembling some pieces. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna assemble is the string here. And so the string gets assembled by simply putting this white piece in the center so that it looks like it's string. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this white piece and I'm just gonna glue it down to the center of this little oval spot here. Okay, so now it looks like that's got a hole in it, right? Like it looks like that's a little jaggedy. And so I think I'm gonna just try to round that off just a little bit. That's a little better. Yeah, that's better. I'm a little happier with that. Okay, so. Then what I can do is I can set this off to the side because I won't need that for a minute. And I'm gonna get down my two mittens. Okay. Whoa, dropping the uh, hearts here. So I have one mitten that's like this, okay. And then I have the other mitten that's like this and that looks just like our picture. I'm gonna keep my picture in the middle so I know what I'm doing, right? And then I'm gonna take this light blue right here and it just goes right across the mitten like that, right? So I'm just gonna tuck it right in there and let it go right across. Maybe it looks better this way. Oh, that's, that's a little better. I can trim the extra off too. There's probably gonna be a little extra and I can trim it. All right, so I'm gonna put the stripe on the mitten. Okay, so we go like this and we put this down like this. Like that, perfect. And then this little piece that hangs off the edge, you can see, and I can just whoop, trim that right off, just like that. So now I have the stripe on this mitten. And now I'm going to do the stripe over here on this mitten. And everything I do on one, I'm going to do on the other just to make it easy so I don't lose my place or forget what I'm doing. Yeah, there really is one side that's better than the other with this um, stripe here. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of the stripe. Okay. Alrighty. And I'm going to glue that stripe down. Just like that. Okay, so now I have my stripes. Alright, so the next thing after the stripes is the cuff. And the cuff just goes, whoop, here's we look at it like this. The cuff just goes right up here at the top. So we just hook this cuff right here. And it's a little bigger than the mitten. It can come up some like that. I think it actually attaches pretty close to the bottom of the mitten. And then we'll just put right along the top here, top edge, put some glue and stick it down to the mitten like this. All right, okay. And it's, you know, it's, there's, it, it's pretty much at the bottom of the mitten. If I wanted to, I could do it like this on this one. All righty, get it settled in there like that. Then I'm gonna take the button, 
I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here in this corner. And there's one button. And then I'm gonna take a little glue and put it right here in this corner. And here's the, oop, here's the other button. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these hearts on the stripe. Okay, three on each stripe. So I'm gonna put the glue on the back of the heart so that I don't get extra glue on the stripe where I don't need it. So there's one. I really have, I'm having some problems with my camera today. It just keeps trying to autofocus, autofocus, and it doesn't seem to wanna stay focused where I want it. There's two, and here's three hearts on this stripe. And then we'll grab these hearts from over here where I've had them sitting. Okay, and then we'll do it again. One, sorry, I came out of the camera frame. One, two, and three. And then the last thing to do is to attach the string. And so the string makes the mittens look like they're attached together, right? It makes them look like they go together. And so you can just tilt them in towards each other like that, and it looks like the string is between them, okay? So we just sort of put a little bit on the back of this arm of the string right here. And we'll put that guy right there. And then we'll put a little bit on the back of this arm right here. And we'll put this guy right there. And now we have a little pair of mittens. If I can get it, the whole thing in there. Now we have a pair of mittens uh, connected together. There we go. So there's our uh, craft uh, for our mittens. And today's letter was P for pencil. Um, and I will see you next time uh, for the letter Q. Uh, and next time, I think we're making a whale next time. I'm pretty sure. And then we're making our, 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 our husky dog. I thought our husky dog was today, but our husky dog is next week. So today was our mitten and our letter P for pencil. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.